What's up guys, Mike here, the Detroit Borg, with a quick video taking a look at the feature I couldn't demonstrate with the Series 4 Apple Watch when it first launched. So watch OS 5.1.2 finally brings us the EKG feature, which allows the new hardware on the Series 4 Apple Watch to measure your electrical heart signals. So as a reminder, the Series 4 watch has both an optical heart rate sensor, which measures your heart rate, but it also has several built-in electrical leads. So for example, the back crystal has electrodes in the back, which makes contact with your wrist. There's also another electrode in the digital crown, which completes the circuit for measuring the electrical activity of your heart. So once you're updated, you'll see a new app appear on the Apple Watch. This is the EKG app. And when you first launch it, you're prompted to go back to the health app on your iPhone to set it up for the first time. So the setup process really just involves establishing your date of birth so it knows how old you are. And then it explains exactly how this works how to use it and what the results mean. So the primary function of an electrocardiogram is to make sure that the upper and lower atriums of your heart are beating in sync or beating normally. So if you have a healthy or normal heart rhythm, you should be in sinus rhythm. AFib or atrial fibrillation is the most common form of serious arrhythmia. Now, if it detects this, you definitely want to get it checked out. If your heart rate is below 50 beats per minute or above 120 beats per minute, the app cannot detect AFib accurately. And if you get inconclusive, it just means it wasn't able to measure your heart rate accurately or there's something else going on that it can't classify. Now if you get this it probably just means your Apple Watch is too loose or you're moving around and not resting your arms on a table as instructed. Now if you plan to use the EKG often what you might want to do is add the complication to your watch face. So that's a nice quick shortcut of getting right to the app. So to measure your EKG, just make sure your Apple Watch is nice and snug against your skin. And then all you have to do is activate the app and press your finger, the opposite finger, against the digital crown. This completes the circuit across your body so it can measure your electrical activity. And as I learned straight away, you have to be sitting down with your arms laying flat on the table. So you cannot be moving at all in order for this to work. And if you don't follow these instructions precisely, you're going to get inconclusive results over and over again. So it takes about 30 seconds to record your EKG and you can see a live readout of your EKG on the screen. To me, that's pretty amazing. In fact, you can go right to your EKG printout and save this and share it with your doctor. Another thing you can do with your EKG readings is specify any symptoms you might have. So for example, if you have any fluttering, any rapid heartbeat, you can actually mention that in your EKG recording. Now for most people, this is just a nice feature to have, but for me, it's actually pretty useful because I suffer from a few conditions which need to be monitored. So for example, I have a rapid heartbeat, as you can see in these readings, which I take medication for. I also have to visit my doctors regularly for an EKG reading. So they hook me up to a machine and measure it and save it for my records. But now I have full access to it all the time. This also means that instead of carrying a 24-hour heart monitor, which I've had to do in the past, instead when I'm running into symptoms, I can record my EKG and save it and share it with my doctor. And since I've spent half my life dealing with this specific medical issue, it's kind of amazing that technology makes it easier for me to monitor it. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this look at the EKG feature on the Series 4 Apple Watch. I'm pretty excited that we finally have it. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a like to let me know. And I'll see you again in my next video.